Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the junk that we purchased throughout the week. We tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for. And we tell a lot of funny jokes when we're tired, which... That's every week. That is every week. <laughs> we're always um, tired on Saturday. <laughs> if you want to shop along, visit JanuaryVintage.com, click the main menu, for, and then look for Saturday Thrift Haul. Or Caitlin is on here tonight. She's going to be dropping links. Also, we have an app, Jamie Ray Vintage. If you join the app, then you get a push notification the second the collection goes live. So make sure you download that app. Cody, that's blue. Shh. Sometimes I got the dog. All right, let's get started. We have not a huge thrift haul, it just lots stop, of little Jamie. stuff. <laughs> All right, so lots of little stuff here Cody, tonight. Shh. And some of it looks like a rocket ship. But we're going to paint it and it won't look like a rocket ship when we're done. No, we're not painting it. Oh, well, we're not painting this? No, because some people like natural wood, so I'm going to see how it rolls. All right, comment below if you love the natural wood. You might just need to go up to my bedroom. <laughs> Jamie's going to fix it. All right, so fun fact, I did not do any thrifting this week. I'm a little sad, but I've been so busy over at the shop that we're renovating. 130-year-old building, super fun. It actually is a lot of fun. It's just now we've got a timeline and it's coming down to it's it. It's less fun when we have a timeline. <laughs> so I did all the thrifting without Zeb, but yeah, no, I decided not to paint that because people ask for natural wood. So we're just going to leave it. So this was a doll at the thrift store. It's handmade. It has the person who made it. They wrote on the bottom. Um, and oh, is your mic on Zeb? 12, yeah, it's on right here. Okay. It's twelve ninety five. Is yours on? Um, yeah, I think now so. Now you're making me question. But twelve ninety five. No. it's candlestick, holds a taper in the top. We can show you Gentry. Can you bring the paper out of there? Caitlin, can you hear? So Gentry is here. It's Jamie's niece from Arizona. <laughs> My lovely redhead assistant. You want to say she's, hi, Jen? She's going to come on and, and say Aww, hi. She, was she, our, went, she went thrifting hi. with Jamie. She um, was the flower girl at our wedding. She was. She was a little tiny little toddler. 21 years later. She's, <laughs> she's still cute. All right, so we've got this taper, and that's what it looks like. I think it would be cool painted, but I'm going to leave it as is and see side. if people buy it. This is a hand-dipped beeswax candle taper. Shh. Cody, be okay. He's over here. He's like, he's like, blue went by, though, and I didn't get a bark at him properly. <laughs> but I think a regular taper would fit down in here really good. Yep. All right, so um, the next thing that I want to show them is these cool shelves. I'm going to have you show them because I'm holding the dog. Oh, yeah. I can't do anything. Are we painting these on. up? Yeah. Tell me we're painting these because they yeah, got like this they... weird like Santa Fe like pink thing going on. Yeah, it's not good. And they have a crack, so we need to fill the crack. So we're not going to paint them tonight. Oh, heads up. We are moving next week. So if you order any from the thing from this week, it will probably not ship for about eight days because we have to get moved and I don't want anything to get lost. So everything's going to stay here. And then as soon as we get moved, then we'll start shipping it out. So just so you guys know. Don't be scared. We'll still, we'll still get it out it's to you. It's still as quick coming as we can, to you. But, don't worry. But we gotta we gotta do this a little bit organized so that things don't get lost and then people aren't mad because they only got half their order. Yeah. So we're gonna wait. So they've shipped everything out um, thus far. I think they have a few more things to go Monday morning because I need to paint them. But then everything else will ship when we move. So these were five dollars each, and they're solid carved wood corbel shelves. They're gonna be twenty eight ninety five once they're painted. I think they're gonna be super cute. They also yeah, have hanging like. Good. Like not hardware, but little holes. I feel like in the I back, need to brighten so. us up a little. Are we a little dim? Oh. Okay. Can oh. I put you down? Is he gonna bark? Are you gonna bark, or are you gonna be go puppy? Okay. Go he's down. a year old this month. We don't know exactly when because he's but, a rescue. Because he's a rescue, but the doctor or the vet for him said that based off of his teeth that about August he'd be a year. So we're calling it. He's a year old. What color did I paint the front door? I haven't painted it yet because I've been helping Zeb and I. That's a hot debate button right there. I purchased, like, a, natural. I purchased a pair of French doors, and I'm hoping once my husband comes back from elk hunting, and he's super excited because he's been camping all week and he has such a good time, that he's going to feel generous and he's going to install said French doors. So I may not paint them because I got these gorgeous antique French doors that are going in, but if I do wind up painting it, it's going to be haint blue. Um, and then white trim because I'm going to paint. Eventually, all of the windows are going to be white at the church. So 
This might be one of my favorite little bird houses ever. It's I knew you'd like that. And the door is cut out nice and big so you can fit big fluffy birds in there. Usually they're like this big around and I'm like, what kind of birds are sitting in there? But I know. I mean, it's apparently like, little birds need homes. We are too. all bird size inclusive here. Oh, look, here's the normal size bird hole. This got blown out the back though. Yeah, somebody made that and it was like a buck. Every, I, a it looks like they cut buck. this out probably so they can clean it out. I don't know, but it's how much are we selling it for? This was a dollar. We're selling it for fourteen ninety five. It has been painted. Are we going to paint it more? I'm just going to go put him in. Okay, place. just go put him upstairs. He won't stop. Let's he's, go. He's excitable. We've Gentry, had, would you take Cody upstairs Jack to the my today, bedroom? So we've had people all over. He, he sometimes chill with new people, but sometimes not. Yeah, it's been a busy day. Okay, um, let's let's show things that have already sold. So, oh, the this paddle here, so the tall chalkboard sign situation. Someone must have had the app and got their notification. Yeah, that already sold. It was how much? A dollar. This was two dollars. Two dollars. We're selling for eighteen ninety five, or sold it for eighteen ninety five. This is actually hardwood around the edge, and I think it's just a really cool idea to make a cutting board. And this urn. Is gonna get painted this and wood, it was a this. dollar. Actually, is it wood? Or is it no, plaster? I think it's plaster and wood mix. Like some oh. of it. Flip it over. The bottom is wood. It's wood and then some plaster. It's gonna be nineteen ninety five and it's already sold and we're gonna paint it super cute. Are we gonna paint this tonight? I don't know. We'll see. We I'll gotta we gotta paint everything tonight. Possibly be painted back. Okay, here. and we also sold the little shrine. <laughs> I am so glad that shrine sold. I was like, uh, it's kind of weird, but also about. really cute. That shrine. It's like what you would put like a statue of oh, Jesus this. in. It's very okay. European religiana. Oh, I made this that is just up, waiting but. for a Mother Mary. Or yes, or the mother, whoever you want. Isn't that cool? So that already sold. Um, and I paid how much? But I think like a buck or two? Four dollars. A buck or four. A buck or four. And we're gonna paint it and sell it for twenty two ninety five. It's fiberglass. Isn't that the coolest? I love it. <laughs> it's, so, it's so random. I saw it found it in the yard, and I was like, I can't leave this. The colors are we, are we painting but, it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this kid painted the colors putrid, but the style is on point. And I can never find like the religious artifact type things when I'm in Europe. So I'm gonna totally do that over, and it's gonna be good. Oh. All right. I think. Um, I think that that's all the, oh, and the lamb sold. Do you want to get the little sheet? Yes, I knew that would sell. It's so, so did cute. you just close this? Mm -hmm, in it's going to be repaired. Okay, so this does have a little bit of authentic battle damage, but can you see the hole there? We're going to fill We're it. We're going to fill that probably with air dry clay, and it'll be good as new. I may even stipple it a little, so it looks like perfect. Do they have a DI in Montana? You know, I'm not sure. Oh, no. You can look Search, it up. Yeah, Google it and see. Let they, us know, Rambo. They have Rambo. all locations nationwide listed. Yeah. Yep. So the lamb it looks like the sheep sold. This is probably like yard art. It looks like it's been outside. Yeah. It's going to be cute. All right. Uh, corbels, very ornate, very detailed corbels, also very boring. So we're going to paint this pair. We paid a, you guys, this is the deal of the day. I paid $1.50 for the pair. So I need a pair of corbels like that in your thrifting adventures that are about this deep here. I might have to make them because at the end of the stage, where the stage used to have uh, the, I think I have to run it. Oh. Um, the stage has the bar out in front. Um, it's got like an overhang, probably about that deep, and I'm probably just gonna have to make some what skinny corbels over by the receptacle that I put up there, and on the other side, over by the stairs, there's like an overhang that's like an inch and a half, two inches, yeah. where it came down, and it used to have something under there, and we just trimmed the bottom out and didn't put anything under there. So I'm gonna put corbels so it doesn't Why look like the that? whole column of the arch is floating. Oh, I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna do it. Oh, it that's gonna me. do it. <laughs> all right, so I paid $1.50 for the two of them. I'm gonna paint them and make them look all kinds of hot, and they're gonna be $48.95 for the pair which is a really good deal because that makes it only $24 a corbel. And legit, if I were to make something like this, it costs a whole lot more. So I love it when I can thrift stuff that I would make Even if scratch. you had like a mold made and you were going to pour those out of cement or something or plaster. Yeah. And they have hanging hardware. That's, a, that's still cheaper than we could manufacture them ourselves. All right. I want to see you patch the lamb's leg. So okay. um, Benny, if we don't get to it, normally what we
what we do is just um, wood glue and paper clay. That's what we use, like that air dry clay that we use for I can, I can Once we get done, it'll take like two minutes. I'll yeah, we, we should be done fairly quickly. So we'll get to painting later. Um, this was 75 cents, I think. Yeah. And um, we're selling 4 dollars just a little milk glass base. Super cute. And then we have lots of so much little stuff. Jamie wasn't yeah. finding anything big without me this week. Well, there probably was some big stuff that I left. Here's the thing. She doesn't always love. I know this is going to shock you. She doesn't always love everything that I thrift. And so sometimes when I bring stuff home, she's like, oh, I got to put that in my shop. I'm just thinking that the gals are going to be really <laughs> exhausted after the move. And they're probably not going to want to ship giant thrift all. So I was thinking of them. It's fine. I'll be back to getting big stuff soon. <laughs> okay, so this is a dollar. This was a dollar. Fun little colander, perfect for washing just a few things, especially if you've got a garden and you're getting fresh stuff every day, but you don't want to get like a huge colander. It's a berry colander. It's for like berries. There you go, for That's berries. Why it's small. See, I would think of like washing peas, maybe you some could small put peas carrots in. in fact, in there. we have a berry colander right here, and inside of our berry colander, our peas. Our peas. Look at that. And know. also peppers from the garden. Oh, are those the Serrano ones? Uh, my mom took a bio one. She said it was very really hot, so I don't know. But they look so like maybe Serrano's Serrano, to me. Serrano peppers aren't necessarily hot. They yeah. just give you a little heat in there when you're yeah. eating your delicious I didn't have to be Serrano's because they don't look like bananas. But anyway, sorry. This is 10 bucks, by the way. 10 95 If you need a colander. Um, so I'm kind of excited about colander. this. This uh, container made in England, 1977. It's stamped on the back. And it has the, these very pretty flowers. So can you show them these up close? Yes, I will. And it has a hinge. Come on, Vanna, let's go. All right. And then while you're vanning, we can show them all the teacups. We can do like teacups on parade. Teacups on parade. Oh, there we go. Look at that honeysuckle. 1977 English tin here. I paid, I think, a dollar for it and, or 75 cents. What does it Buy say on the bottom? Weed. Oh, you paid 75 cents for this. And I'm selling it for $12.95. Oh, it's kind of blurry. Oh, container made in England. Look at that. I love that they manufacture a lot of things in England. Still. They do. And I love that it has a hinge. Like this is obviously older, but even when we were there, like we were in the grocery store, made in England, made in England. Yeah. Product of England. They had a lot. Okay, Zeb's going to give, so somebody must have expired or downsized the, I'm, I don't know. They either expired or they just downsized their teacup collection because I found a whole lot. first. There's a set of four. And the set of four, where's the price? I marked it somewhere. $24.95? $24.95 for all four of these. They were a dollar each, tree. and they're Japanese stoneware, and they have little Christmas trees on them. Look how cute that is. Oh, there we have it. Look at that. Even the handle is really ornate. Yeah, I love it. And I I do find these from time to time, but not typically a set of four. How do they do that? They don't have to build that. They have a mold, probably. Some of them. Are you sure? Because that looks like it's been pressed on there. Just, I don't know. Japanese people are very exact, and it's from made in Japan. Wild craftsmen and craftsmen. Dana says adorable tin. Thanks, Dana. So more of those are twenty four ninety five. <laughs> then you can show them the Bohemian platter. If it doesn't sell, it's getting painted. But I, a lot of you love the bo the boho vibes. It was one dollar. It's um, wood carved out, and it's got hand painted kind of Bohemian flyer flowers. And twelve ninety five, and you can take this Bohemian platter let's, home. Let's say it. They look like the Flor 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 mm. We have yeah, a stencil I, I called that. My like that. I I'm not very good anymore. I'm but not I'm not. Yeah, it's got like little gold details in there too. Look how cute that is. Twelve ninety five. Cynthia says, "Oh, that's cool." Catherine says she can't hear you. Somebody said that earlier. Can you hear me? Can you make sure that my your mic is on? Let me see if it's muted weirdly. No, nope, I'm on. Dana says Debbie would love that. That's what I thought, Debbie would. So if nobody buys it, maybe I'll just give it to her when she comes. Okay, we're going to have teacups on parade, guys. Okay, these are all $12.95, and they I, come with their saucers. I had to go, um, that's an espresso one, little tiny baby one. I had to go all over the shop, the store to find all the matching stuff. There is one mixed match teacup and saucer, but it matches close enough. But that is not one. So that one, I think, is made in Germany. It said Zeb is definitely hard to hear, so I don't oh, know. Here, how about now? How oh, now, brown cat? Can you hear me when I hold it close? 
This is Royal Albert. There's a dog going to town. So that one is a mixed match. It has a different bottom. Control. You gotta tap it so people can see it. And then they've got and these saucers are all in really good shape. Yeah. Daniel Sylvester says I can hear Zeb. He is muffled. Here, Zeb, give me that. Try this one. Well, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm not saying anything important. I'm just here for the for the jokes and sarcasm. There we all hold it like that. All right, can you hear me now? The Norma says the boho. Can you hear me now? Because I have his mic. Leslie, let me know. Okay. So that that particular print, what's the name of that manufacturer? Crown Trent. Crown Fine Trent. China. Lots Staff of English China. England. Angela says that you can hear me. There we go. But they want to hear your jokes and sarcasm. Oh, they can hear me just fine. Yeah. Maybe it's just the way it's hanging on the hat. I moved its spot. Okay. I could move it down below, but you probably Okay, next cup. Face. This one's October. It has daisies on it. This is probably my favorite. Like it's Odelia's favorite and Gentry's favorite, too. I just like the layout on it. It's I love that I'm married to a man that has a favorite teacup. <laughs> Out of all the teacups, this one is Seb's favorite. I look down in the crawl space. This week I can take it. Yeah, you, can, you, uh, you are definitely all man. Who also has a teacup love? It's okay. You're basically the perfect man. So I also have two daughters, and I have been to many a tea party. Seb will hold that pinky up all kinds of high. Okay. I kind of have to. It's, it was broken in my youth, and it doesn't bend. <laughs> this is another mix match. Yeah, that one is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Are you sure? Yeah, look at the pattern. Oh yeah, the patterns are the same on the berries. Yeah, it's a Santa cup. Isn't that cute? So, so cute. So try it. Just put it on your shirt, Zeb, on the side. Yeah, I don't know why they're having a struggle bus, but I swapped you mics and they can still hear me better. Just keep it away from your big old fat Adam's apple. If it gets scratchy, I'm blaming you guys. <laughs> All right. Next, this is a Regency one. Awesome. We're almost done with teacups on parade if you don't like teacups. There's like three more. Yeah. This one is a French inspired one, but it's made in Japan. This one's really pretty. They're all in really good shape, which is fun. Sometimes they don't. And this is a, the, the next one is going to be Duchess. That one almost looks like an abalone shape. Caitlin's dropping the links. Each of these are listed separately in the thrift hall. Look how pretty that one is. Ivy did that, huh? Separate? She yeah. Do just a drop down? Well, I decided to do it separate because sometimes they start selling and then it's like hard to find them. So this is a Duchess one. And then this one is just like not named, but very pretty. This is the last one here. Oh, super chat. Thanks, Sally. She says, good luck with the move. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Cause we are going to need it. We're going to need all the luck. BB says these are so cute. We I'm glad you like them. BB. One day because I need like a whole day of trim on Monday to work on it. Yeah. I am taking tomorrow off. I need it. Okay. <laughs> Here is the uh, well. We don't work on Sunday anyways. This is T and V French Limoges. So this is French, um, and this particular brand is actually fairly expensive. So it's a small platter, like small small platter. Yeah, but the T B Limoges France is just a really popular. Um, you can look them up on Etsy. Things sell for like $40 plus. We're selling this one for $19.95. And I paid a dollar for it. While I'm up here, I may as well show you this. Yeah, you're going to be banning all the things. Do I prefer waxing or varnish? I prefer waxing sometimes. I've never used varnish, but I do use like a brush on top coat. So Depends on the application. I can't tell. Was this three dollars? Yes, and it's thirteen ninety five. Thirteen ninety five. It's a really ornate pedestal milk glass. I love all milk glass. Even the inside. Look at that. It's almost yeah, it's like, like a spider, web. spider web. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Webbed. It's really cute. Okay, and then this one. I don't know if it was a marriage or not. I found it together like that. What do you think? Um, I think it's pretty geometric on the edges, so I think it's it goes together and it fits well. That would be hard to find a match to that. Oh, what's the price on that one? I don't know. We didn't get a price on this one. Let me see. Take me home. I didn't see it on the list. No. So ever since I'm wearing this shirt, it's like I can't stop singing the John Denver song. Ten ninety five, 
And it what was a dollar. Sure to say? I don't even know. Country roads take me home. Oh yeah. To the place I belong. Um, Wendy, I will paint the mirror French style because that's definitely the way that mirror needs to be painted. Can you show them the mirror? Wendy bought it. Oh, this one? Yep. And that jar with lid, it's ten ninety five. This mirror? Yes. So originally this came from Hobby Lobby. I love the style, don't love the color. And um, I paid $2 for it, I think, or $1.50. I'm selling for $22.95 and it already sold. I'm gonna make it look cute. It, I just like, when I people ask me like, how do you know things are gonna be cute? I always look at the shape and then I just picture whatever color and finish I want. Very dark, I'm gonna write. Okay. I can't what does the sign say? So this sign that's for sale is an embossed tin sign, and you can hardly see what it says because the paint finish is horrible. It says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, 15, out of the Bible. And it's 1695, and I'm going to paint it so that way you can see what it says a little better. There we go. So that's pressed in there. Yeah, so I'll probably paint it like a dark color and then do a white dry brush, and you'll be able to see what it says. Okay, so this is a stoneware bowl. You guys see all the detail on it. An old crockery, like crock style. It's actually, I say stoneware, but it's actually more crock type bowl. This one does have a crack in it, um, but it was a dollar, and I don't see the price on it. We were totally slacking today. Um, $9.95 for this crock bowl here, and it looks a lot like those bowls we found in England, actually. Yeah. But it's not brown because it's not stamped on the bottom. But love me a good crock bowl. What would you paint a keepsake box? Should I paint it white, put transfers on it? I'm having a hard time. Well, it depends adventures with Melissa, what you're gonna be doing for, with it. Like, are you you have a room that it's going in or are you just selling it? I love keepsake boxes that are like pink with floral on it, just for like resale. I think that's really good. But if that doesn't match your style, then that wouldn't probably work. All right, we got a couple of frames here. This one was two dollars. It's going to be fourteen ninety five. Are we painting it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's getting painted. <laughs> I try not to buy too much stuff. It can that be hung painted, both but... ways. It's hard sometimes. Some weeks you're out there, and you're like, "That's good, but it needs paint. That's good, but it needs I try to buy stuff that was easy to paint. Like this is not gonna be hard. Like a lot of thrift haul things usually need some sort of painting. Did I have a large dinner for Jack and his? Um, Les said Christing, but it was his baptism. Um, we went, so <laughs> we went straight from the baptism to a football game. And then from a football game, we went to Costco and we bought a bunch of luncheon stuff. And then we call it Costco catering, just like all easy <laughs> stuff that's yummy, like shrimp cocktail and croissants. And we had cheesecake and cookies and bags like the Caesar salad. And we had a big buffet and everybody came over and ate over here. And then we went swimming. And then we kicked him out about 2.30, and Zeb and I went and worked at the church. I oil waxed the, the, the floor, floor there in the big part down, down low, not the But we had, we've had a good day. It's been busy. Oh, yeah. But everything kind of went off without a hitch. It was really fun. Um, and then Grandma took Grandma and Odelia took the four little boys, ours and Mariah's, to the movies. That's where they're at right now. It's very yep. quiet here. Oh, Welcome. super chat from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine, for that super chat. Appreciate that. Okay. Another right. frame here. This one is twenty two ninety five. Are we leaving the picture in there? Are you gonna do like a frame? I'm gonna paint it and see. I think the picture is fine. Sure, I just think close. that it needs a better. Like, look how pretty that picture is. Okay, it's hard to get a not a reflection, but the frame is just not working for it. So I think if we give the frame a better color, like maybe paint it like aviary with white, bring back some of the gold, then that'll tone that back, and then the picture will shine. So somebody wanted to see the Santa cup and saucer. Okay. So here you go. It looks like it may have at one point had authentic battle damage, but they did a good job. I don't know if you can see it. This is brand new. There was a crack. I just felt it. I couldn't even see it. It's like right there. You can't see it. But anyway, it is there. Look at the Santa. Look how cute that is. It's Queen's Fine Bone China, Rosina China, China Company. And then there's the sauce. And that just... Oh, there you got it to focus. Yeah. And oh, we didn't tell you the pricing on these. So they're $12.95 each, but I paid a dollar for each cup and saucer. 
So there are $2, I guess, for the center. All right, sorry about that. We're moving along here. All right. So this is one of those uh, copper water bottles. And this one's cool. It's got a really neat design. Yeah, that one's really nice. And I pay quite a bit for them. So super excited to find one. It looks almost new. Yeah, huh? it's got like a couple dings in it, but they might just be from it kicking around someone's house. I don't know that it's really been used. It doesn't for, look like it. For actual liquid. It's like brand new inside. And we sell them for like 20 plus dollars. I paid $1 for that one. Uno. Uno dollar. And I'm selling for $13.95. And I love, if you haven't tried it, the copper is great because it will like purify your water if you leave it in there for 48 hours. I never do. Um, and it also keeps your water really, really cold. It's conductive. All right. This was 75 cents. I was told we're going to paint this up super cute. And she did super cute fingers like this. That means it's going to be super cute. <laughs> it's got a wooden handle, galvanized. Uh, some it does have. This is a little raised area. It's embossed, kind of for. Uh, it looks like a little. We might eliminate that. Maybe do like a mold in there. No, I was just gonna paint it and then do some drips because it looks like a paint pail to oh, me. You do love a drippy paint pail. I do love me a drip of paint pail. Did we ever find price on this or how much it was? Yeah, it's ten ninety five. I already told you. This is ten ninety five. The I people missed... heard it. Yeah. The Zeb's not the people. I'm okay, not. what's your favorite thing this week? This beaker. It's a measuring cup. It'll hold four cups and straight sides, but it also has a really great pour spout. Love it. He like loves anything scientific. Things. And it's big enough I can fit my whole hand in here without usually like measuring cups. I'm over here like trying to measure all day. Like you can even fit your fat thumb in it. Yep, I can. And it'll go. But this was $3. We're selling it for $12.95. Oh, so they said when I was close to the camera, my mag sounded far away. So maybe I have something to do with the camera. Maybe. We'll stay away from it. All right. We're almost done. So we just have the cake plate. Maybe only this mic's working. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Hammer oh. thumb. Daniel Vester's still watching. What's up, Daniel? It looks how like did we you, both lost how did you some like weight. Moves? I have We're not really how lost going weight. There. How did you like it? DM me. Um, Zeb has lost 30 pounds. I've lost three and a half pounds. Thanks for asking. 30. I was 220 this morning on the scale. And when I went to go get all my blood work done, I was uh, not a healthy 250. <laughs> <laughs> when he put his suit on this morning to go to the baptism, he's like, maybe I should have put on my skinny suit the last time he was super skinny because yeah. he got a brand new suit and now it's baggy. Anyways, I digress. Okay, so Cake Plate found the, found the top for $3 by itself. Oh, really? It's and a marriage. It's a marriage. And then somebody actually married this. They glued this Sunday cup to the bottom of this giant platter. I like this setup a lot. We might have to do like a triple marriage. And it says L on the bottom. So I'm guessing it's a leader. I don't know. No, that's not a leader. I don't think so either. It's a leader ice cream. It's a lot of ice cream. Anyways, they did a really good job of it. And I found this. And then I went to the plate section and found this. And I was like, that's perfect. I love it together for a cake, but I also like the dome off and I like it just for like, uh, if you had a bunch of like think profiteroles or whatever piled up or there. Or the muffins you're going to make me later. Or the muffins. I actually didn't make the muffins. I know. That's why I said it. Okay, or I wonder if you could make it I a think it bowl. could be a punch bowl. Yep. Oh, that's cool. It works. So many options, endless. Um, and this was $2. That's a that big I, So five bucks is what I paid table. for the pair. It's a good marriage. Oh, it sounds like your sound is picking up through your laptop and not your mics. Oh, well, let me check on that. I can fix Hold, that please. right now. That'll be awkward if that's been like that the May, whole night. Way to troubleshoot us. Wait for it. Audio. Yep. <laughs> How about now? How about now? How about no now? wonder I sound quiet up over there. Can you skip with the bucket? After my skipping last week, I feel like you need to skip with a bucket because my skipping was pitiful. I was just trying to tell you to get your knees up and you oh, were- Oh, can you fix the cameras up? Yeah, and you were doing like outside. high knees for like football calisthenics. <laughs> no, Davis. Thank you so, or is it no or nay? Nay, Davis. Thank you so much. You are the winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know of what, but good sound. <laughs> So much better. Oh my gosh. I feel so sorry for you guys. I'm sorry that the sound was off. It's, All right. You know, that's the kind of It's okay. He's going to so make I'll up for it with skipping. 
Look, I can slide too with the bucket. Karen says my skipping was I almost adorable. fell right there. I made Deb laugh so hard. Well, I could have skipped, but he said high knees, so I was trying to skip with high knees. You and get your knees work. up on the skip. It helps Look, you get I more I can height. skip without high knees. Let's watch. She she was flustered last time around. Let's... I'm good at skipping. The... It's still off. It's still not good skipping. <laughs> Gentry's over there saying, eh, it's not so good. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm good at a lot of things. I can't be good at everything. It wouldn't be fair to everybody else. True facts. True facts. I cannot <laughs> sing and carry a tune, and I'm not good at skipping. <laughs> There's a few other things on that list, too. I but... thought she was going to fall down last week. But I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. We got like three things Three more things. Three more things. All right. Okay. This, I don't know how much it was. I'm going to guess $1 to $2. It's got this fun kind of flower shape on there. Bobby says I'm stomp skipping yeah. and Les says that I'm not skipping. You were like double tapping your feet. You're like, do, 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 do. <sighs> we'll work on it off camera. Sorry. I just, Tarnish silver. Tarnish silver. It was $1. Oh, $1. And it's that's got not the floral here. shape and it's $13.95 and it would be perfect for like oranges or apples, clementines, tomatoes. I just like What it. is this for? Um, is this for soup? Big old Mama Jamma coffee mug. Yeah, it's good. For when you're camping, you haven't slept all night. It was two dollars. We're selling it for six ninety five. Yeah, I thought it was a good deal. The enamel's and in we good also shape. got. There is a little ding down here on the bottom. We also bought enamel plates, but I'm not selling those. We do have some enamel plates for sale on the website, so you can look those up. Just search enamel, and they'll pop up. But I got four new enamel plates that I'm not selling that we're putting in our camper. Um, for, because we're going to start putting all enamel wear. I want to do all blue, blue speckled enamel wear in the camper. You know what's great about enamel wear in the camper? Hmm. If you run out of things to cook on, you can just throw that on the fire and warm stuff up. Karen's is, how's the elk calling going? It's really good. I can do it well. Do you guys want to hear it? <laughs> all right, fine. Show them this. I'll go get the bugle. You asked for it, Karen. It is loud. He is so excited about it. it but is... the problem is you can't shoot the elk and call it at the same time can you well you can bring them in and set that down i'm but i'm, I'm gonna so what's gonna it. happen is i'm gonna have you be like a little down the way bugling to your heart's content and when they run by me dinner all right so he's gonna get the elk call out it sounds like a wild banshee you're gonna wish that the um, microphones were not working um, this was one dollar, and I'm gonna sell for sixteen ninety five. It doesn't look like much, but I'm gonna sand it and oil it and make it look cool because I love, love, love cutting boards. I don't know why. And the older, the better. It has a few cracks in it, so I'm wondering if I can get Zeb to put a copper repair on it too, because I think that would be fun. So, copper repair, gonna get sanded and oiled, and it's gonna be sixteen ninety five. Kai says yes, 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 or maybe not. Just wait. Daniel Vester wants to hear it. Cynthia, I'm sorry if that makes you sad. We um we eat meat in this house. I don't know if it's a secret. All right, we are going to paint some stuff though. <laughs> All right, let's paint. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know where Zeb. Zeb, how long are you gonna be? I can't can't go off camera. I'm gonna go off camera, but I'm gonna be back. I gotta get paint. Zeb just left me down here. Like I'm a one woman show. I am good at talking myself, so I guess that works in my advantage. All right, let's see what paint I gotta get. Doop, 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 doop. Let's see. Farm Fresh is the color du jour because that's what I found. I need a drop cloth. I don't know where the drop cloth is. Gentry, can you go say hi to the camera so there's not too long of a spiel with nobody on here? I'm coming back. Oh, it's Gentry. Hi. All right. We're going to paint stuff. I don't know how long that. He probably doesn't know where the elk call is or he's talking to his dad in there. There's an elk call in there. What? No, those are reeds. The elk call is like in the, um, in our bedroom. All right, he's found it. I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, you know what I'm gonna paint? I'm gonna paint this sign. Okay, here's your sign. Everybody says, hi, Gentry. If my hi. DIY paint is too thick, do I add water? Yup. You can actually take DIY paint that's been completely dried 
scoop it out and let it sit in water and stir over a few days. And after three or four days, it'll reconstitute. True that. Okay, Gentry, are you ready to be like floored and astonished at how awesome this is going to be? You ready? What? I'm painting it. So the, I'm using DIY paint. It sticks to just about everything. It's going to need a couple coats. It actually doesn't look better, but it will look better when I white dry brush it. I Why know. is he up there? <laughs> is he wearing his mic? Can they hear it? Because he's wearing his mic. Can you hear him? Mm, thank you guys, but please don't talk about. It. Oh, sorry. Um, he's practicing. I don't know why he's in the other room doing that. Okay. Oh gosh, he's gotten distracted. Ta-da! It's all painted. I really don't know why he slept. I don't know if he's ever coming back. All right, let's paint these corbels next. Seb, you've been gone a really long time. Sorry, you got Gentry here though. The reed is busted on it and it's not doing it right. All right, Gentry, you can go now. You're in my chair. Well, you can stay, but you gotta get on my chair. I can't believe you're doing this on camera. I took the mic off, I put it way over Oh, there. I was wondering if they could hear it because I could hear you. Not I didn't know you were gonna be gone for the duration. Well, I'm trying to tune this reed up. It's like smashed and it's not Zeb is MIA. Well, there's new ones in there. Well, those are different. All right, this is loud and it's going to sound crazy. Take your earbuds out. Sound like. well, let me see if I can get it going. It's the worst sound in the world. <laughs> nope, the reed's off. <laughs> sound like an elephant. Yeah, it's really close. That's what they sound like. Who is Gentry? Gentry is my niece. She's my sister Karen's daughter. Karen, you probably don't hear me talk about a lot. She's not on here. I'll have to get in the read. It's broken. It's like twisted up on here. Deborah and, and Renee come along, but not Karen. But anyways, she's my niece. Last time. That is horrible. Nope, I gotta fix the read. <laughs> well, what about those ones that are over there? Those are different. Those are, they just don't need the jiggle. Oh, really? See if you can use them without it. No, I got that. Yeah, my sister Karen is awesome. She's an RN. And if you think I talk a lot or fast, we'll get it tuned up before you should meet my sister Karen. Do you think that I talk more or your mom? Oh, your mom. Shh. Your mom. But if you guys are both together, there's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my sister Karen are both together. There's a lot going on. Hey, that's my brush, yo. No, but I'm smoothing this up. Yeah, it's some shriekies. Zeb needs your mic. Where's your mic? Oh, it's over here. You can come on in, Mom. Mom, nobody says that you have to stay out. You can come on. We just don't want you randomly wandering by and doing dishes because <laughs> you don't know we're last. <laughs> Remember that time you came by with a mask on and then you got mad because you're like, I didn't, I wasn't wearing a mat. I didn't know that you were alive. No. All right. What should I paint? I need to paint something. I don't know. You better get to work here. That was a sad showing of the bugle. I had it really tuned up and going. And now the reed looks like it's all twisted up and I can't get it to smooth out for whatever reason. That's all right. I put it in the little tube. It came in for safe storage and it didn't keep it safe. But it sounded pretty oh, close. Paula's had uh, cow elk meat. Yeah, it tastes more like... Um, Am I painting this in Farm Fresh as well? You can paint it in whatever color you want. I'm going to go look. It tastes more... Cows taste more like beef, I guess. I mean, it sounds... They're insane. a little gamey. They're a little gamey, but... Like, you can tell it's different. Um, can't believe the move is almost here. Yeah, we can't believe so either. It has been... Hot minute. It still feels like. Oh man, it's been a hard month. Sometimes when I'm month. working on a project, it feels like I'm working. I'm just doing work, like it's somebody else's project. It's, I remember feeling that way about this house, and having to remind myself someday I'm actually going to live here. The church project hasn't taken as long as our house. Zeb, can you fix the lamb? That's what you were supposed to be doing. Yeah, I'll fix it in a minute. We got time. It's like, let me get a coat of paint on this, and I'll fix the lamb. 
Thanks, Caitlin. She dropped the link to my sign. Here's your sign. BB says, I can feel fall coming. We were at a football game today, and it cooled off, and it was breezy, and I was like, ooh, fall is coming. It's like 81 degrees instead of 100. Is fall ever going to come to where you live, Gentry? No. Probably not until, like, December. <laughs> Gentry lives uh, down in the valley, so, like, down in, in the Mesa, Arizona area. And uh, it's very hot. She comes up here because she likes us. She also comes up here because her eye doctor is here. But I think it's also mostly because she likes us. <laughs> so I'm going to go white and gold. I've been seeing a lot of white and gold, and I like it. So that's what I'm doing on this. I was going to say something, but now I can't remember what it was. You're thinking about the white and gold now, aren't you? No. No. You're going to go white and gold? That's going to take you a minute to get that full coverage. <gasps> oh! I didn't. I panicked while you were gone and I just like threw this up here and I didn't do a very good job. It's okay. It's working. I was trying to like be I didn't expect to be gone that long, but I was trying to get that read to work. I thought you got distracted by talking to your dad. No, he was trying to help me fix it. Trying to help you fix He's it. He's up in the massage chair in our room. Just just like... chilling. My mom took all the kids to the movies and my dad's like, nope. <laughs> he just spent a year and a half. Taking helping your brother and his seven children. He's like, I am off I'm off kid duty for a minute. I'm like, I feel that. I like kids. I have five of my own, but I also sometimes I'm like, oh, I enjoy the quiet. I think that that Heavenly Father does that because he's like, if I don't make women get tired of the loud screaming. And they'll never stop having children. You know, like when you have little babies, they're so cute and you love them so much. And you're like, how could I ever not want to have babies around? And then you hit to a certain age and you're like, they're cute, but I'm going to send them home with their mama. That's where I'm at. I love them, but they can go home. Who saw the little picture of uh, my niece? Cute, Evie. Yeah, my niece was, we were at the football game watching Odelia cheer and we were looking for Jack. And we walked by the banner. I'm like, I'm going to snap a pic of that. She was actually up at the banner looking at it all on her own. I didn't even course her. And I, but, she, and then later she kissed it. If you follow, <laughs> like, she kissed weird. it all. <laughs> if you follow uh, us on Instagram and Facebook, then you would have seen his cute little redheaded niece, Evelyn. She's been here visiting. It's his baby sister's baby daughter. Same question. My baby sister is oh, not so a baby anymore. Where we live? Where we live? Lehigh, Lehigh Utah. Utah. Lehigh, Utah. Yeah, our the church was a lot of work, but the house was a lot more backbreaking. It's just like older. a year and a half of like every day. Just Putting in a kitchen is a lot more work than taking a kitchen out, which is what we did. We took a kitchen out at the church. We also took the kitchen out of here. <laughs> that is true. We took two, two kitchens out over at the church. Yep. Okay, I'm going to heat gun that, but actually I'll let it sit a minute. Where's that lamb? Do you have the lamb, Gentry? Mm -hmm. This little lamb of mine. Here, it's going to fly in. Should we name him Han? Because we have a, a sheep named Han. It's white and fluffy. Our sheep is fatter than that. Is my glue in here or is it out in the garage? These, these are the hard questions of the evening. They're talking about thunderstorms. We love to sit on our front oh porch and watch them. Odelia filmed one the other day while Zeb and I were working I and sent it to me. I love thunderstorms so much. Looks like the glue is out in the garage. I got to go again, but I'm only going to be gone a moment. I don't think it is. I'm like 99% that it's in there, but you can go look in the garage. I didn't see it. All right. Okay, I am going to paint the tops of these corbels, but the, the paint's going to have to dry. Or I can do that. Zeb, you've left me again. How far is Lehigh to Hurricane? Uh, Hurricane three and a half three hours. hours. Three and a half. Yeah, that's down by St. George. Three and a half hours. Our garage is starting to smell like a feed store. 
It's got chicken food and dog food and sheep food. <laughs> Our life is a feed store. I got to paint all the things because we're going to be busy this week. All right, so this is just air dry clay. You can get it at jamierayvintage.com if you don't have any of your own. We use it for a lot of repairs because unlike like wood putty or even Bondo, it's pretty pliable for quite a while, but it hardens up good if you glue it down. And then I just got wood glue here. There's a little crack there. This is tight bond two wood glue. And I'm going to put a healthy amount all over this. Oh, Kaylin's on top of it. She's dropping links. Our grand opening is September, the weekend of September uh, 15th through 17th. I can't remember the exact dates. And we're doing a class up with Debbie Beard. And then we also have VIP tickets where you get to be a live audience and get to do a question and answer with Zeb and I. sit in on one of these live streams while we're showing the thrift haul. Um, so if you want to do that, Caitlin, drop the link. If you want to sign up for that class, it's going to be fun. And we don't teach live classes. Well, we don't teach dead classes. We're, we're I guess we're always live, but like in, in person. person, that's the word. We don't teach in-person classes very often because we're just pretty busy. So we're super excited to be able to do that at the grand opening. I'm pretty tired in case you guys can't tell. I'm having a hard time. It's been a long week together. and it's been a long week after a few long weeks. <laughs> well, on top of everything else, like just jack got baptized and we've had a bunch of family in town and then we have had we started football season football season although it's our favorite season is also pretty demanding of our time i probably should take in the mirror out of this that would make it easier now i'll have to clean the glass but that'll be fine molly is actually not going to be at the grand opening she is moving here i think in a few weeks is she moving to like colorado or something um, i don't know uh, i think missouri. missouri i feel like i could probably say it because she put it on her um she put it on her business on page. her instagram molly's forget me not she won't be here for that but i would love to have her Let me see if there's any questions. What town is the Pinners Conference? Um, Salt Lake. Well, Sandy. So like yeah, 20 minutes Utah, from here. Sandy. Is it going 15, the same 20? weekend? I don't know. Is there know. a Pinners Conference the same weekend? Where I have no opening? idea. I don't follow Pinners Conference, so I don't know. But maybe. We used to go to them all the time, but it's, it's a lot of effort. There's also Vintage Market Days. If there's a Pinners Conference and Vintage Market Days the same weekend, we picked a humdinger of a weekend. And yeah, there's just be a lot of people in town to come to all the things. Yeah. They have monsoon in Colorado. We we sometimes get the tail end of the monsoon. Usually we get like faint sprinkles, but we've actually got some pretty decent rainstorms this year. Leslie said her five-year-old grandson has football practice. Is it flag or tackle? Because our boys, like Jack started playing tackle football in first grade. I thought that was pretty young. Five years old is pretty young. All right. So there's the leg. Oh, and Pinners then, in Utah is in November. Okay. I think they do it twice a year here, like spring and fall. I don't know. It's been so long. And I'll, once that dries a little bit, I'll just bring in like a little, maybe even like a razor blade or something and add some of that wool look back in. Can you guys see that? Great job, Zeb. Question, what glue do you use to paper clay mold to a tray? We use uh, construction adhesive or wood glue. Gorilla glue construction. Gorilla adhesive glue is construction like adhesive is our favorite. Or something like that. The wood glue is going to work really good for this repair because it'll harden and dry up real good. Are we going to complete any projects, Seb? Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to heat gun mine. It's nine eighteen. We, we still was... have eleven minutes. I've got plenty of time to heat gun this and get my gold on. This, um, let's see, flag football. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I'm using Farm Fresh. I don't know if I told you guys what color I'm using. And everything's getting painted Farm Fresh. Oh my gosh, this looks a thousand times better just this painting it. Just this. I'm moving this over here. It's okay. I have... This yellow color is bad. Zeb, poke the lamb with a toothbrush. Oh Thanks, yeah, Caitlin. that would She's probably work. It. Well... It's, it's pretty hollow back behind, so I need to let it harden a little bit yeah. before I go poking at it. But that is a good idea if it was like a hard, flat surface, but it's hollow back behind. 
Caitlin, did you link my shirt already? If you haven't, would you mind throwing the link for that? Who thinks that this already looks a thousand times better? I think it'll be cool with the yellow coming through. Are you going to distress it? Yeah. The yellow is not bad. It's just a lot of putrid. It just looks like, it, and it might have not been quite so yellow, and it like yellowed over time. Faded like. a little. You know how sometimes creamy. plaster can yellow? That's fiberglass. The fiberglass? Then I don't know what happened. It still get white on it, too. I'm not going to leave it just farm fresh. It'll get some more. Maybe I'll even get gold. I don't know. It's going to look good. So what are you doing on that one that you're working on? Is that one I'm going to get gold? it white really good. I'm going to give it another coat. Are you going to use the gold wax? I'm using or white linen in uh, cottage color paint. So it's the all-in-one. Oh, nice. Same thing we used on the floors at the uh, the shop. The floors we've actually abused quite a bit since we painted We were going to be careful with them, and then I had to do a bunch of work up there. I'm like, I'm going to just have to repaint them or something. Or they've held up. up really well. And they've been fine. We didn't even, we let them cure for like a day. Yeah, it dried really hard. But we're close. I, I have some touch up and we got to get the shipping room set up and we can, there'll still be a few things that need done. I got to get a, a handrail up to the, uh, the stage. How far are we from Southern California? We are 10 hours from San Diego. Yep. 10 hour so, drive. So I guess it depends on where you're at in Southern California. We're about five and a half, five hours north of Vegas, North Vegas. For about eight hours from Denver. Do you want me to see if I can find you the gold wax? Um, or do you I want gonna, the golden ticket? Uh, may, maybe bring me both options. I think golden ticket, actually, because yeah, I don't you, know how well the wax is going to... Can you get golden ticket and a small brush? I mean, please, I think I can. Please. I feel like that might be a big ask tonight because this cabinet... small brush is a big ask? No, this cabinet's a mess. I saw oh. the golden ticket in there earlier. I'm going to bring you brush options. How about that? I like it. Okay. I need to paint the tops of these corbels. We're getting a lot of stuff painted. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. As Karina says, what a difference a little paint can do. Did I miss some on the bottom? Uh, oh, yeah. I see it. Or maybe it's streaky. Nope. I did. I missed a bunch. Hold on, I'm gonna move this. I do not want to paint that. Also, we're about ten hours from Phoenix. You know, we're getting logistics. Six hours here. from Vegas. We're in England. Nobody knew where Utah, even knew where the state of Utah was, and we're like six hours from Vegas. They're like, "Ooh, I've been to Vegas." <laughs> I was like, "You really like, should go other places in America." There's some way. Not that Vegas is bad. It's just there's some better I options. I actually don't enjoy visiting it. I don't, I don't really. gamble, and it's mostly just hot and big city. That is true. What do you use to smooth out wrinkles in decoupage paper? So you um, can iron it. Iron it. That's probably your best approach. If you iron it, you got to put something between it so you don't stick to the iron. Or we just sand it smooth and make it look all old and decrepit. Or sometimes more liquid patina. Like sometimes people don't put enough decoupage medium. We'll use liquid patina. Let's see how many people are watching. 922. Yeah, Zeb is using white linen. We could, we could, if for all of you dedicated watchers that are still with us an hour later into this live stream, we could tease out the paper a little bit. The new paper that's coming next oh, week. Oh, yeah. Is it next, it's, like a, it's like a couple weeks out. And yeah, we already showed it to the channel members. And the JRV subscribers, but we've got a few new decoupage papers coming out. That's super and exciting. All the retailers have the full images, and I believe they've been able to pre-order it. Yes, they have. And Mara is coming out. Mara is coming out with some new JRV stencils. I don't remember the exact date um, of when that releases, but I'm super excited for her to do her release. So I have not had time to design anything Christmas, so I'm excited that Mara got those designed. One of the papers is Halloween fall vintage inspired, so that's fun. Miss Jamie, you still have some spots on the bottom. Okay, I'll get them in a minute. It's okay. It's kind of wet, so it's hard to like move it around. 
Where? I'll get. I'll circle. Where did all my samples go? Did those get put over here? I don't know where your samples went. <laughs> you may have put that cart before that horse. I have one. I can show them. I just saw them. You just saw them. Well, this is one. This is a small portion of one, actually. It's the <laughs> Halloween one, and it's just. This is actual size on the paper, but it's at, it's 20 by 30 and it has a bunch of other designs on it. But I wanted this to be big enough to put on a good sized book. So it's a lady with an owl sitting on the moon and it's cloudy. That is cool. I'm gonna not know. Where would it be, Zeb? I don't know. I just had him out. Then Eliza mm. cleaned. Who knows? No, I she hasn't cleaned since then. Well, maybe next week. Well, you got to see one. You, you got to see one. And that's like a tiny little portion of it. We'll give you a hint. There's one that's a desert scene, and then there's one that's a chinoserie wa. I don't think that's how you say it. Chinos chinoserie? I don't know. The Asian bird print? That one. But they're good. <coughs> I'm like they scanning are. around like I'm going to randomly see them out. I don't know where you put them. I didn't put them anywhere. That's probably the problem. All right, I, I better paint the bottom of this because people. Did you take my heat gun? What? Did I take your heat gun? It's my heat gun too. Did you take the heat gun I was using? Yeah, I did. Okay, I think I've got them. I was going to use it some more. I need to use it in a little bit on this. I need, I need to put like two and a half coats on this. I haven't been letting it dry properly and I pulled some off. Yeah, you do need to let your paint dry in between the coats. Otherwise, you pull some of it off. All right. This is going to have to dry really good. Rex is having a good dream over there. Is he? It's all twitchy. I'm just going to get my own heat gun. Okay. Rex, you okay, buddy? I'm probably not going to finish all these, but I will finish the court bowls. Under the towel. I don't know what they're saying. The papers? Are they under the towel? No, I didn't have them out tonight. No, it's I didn't miss some on the bottom. It's just really streaky because it's like plastery fiberglass, so I'm going to let it dry i got like three minutes to get another coat of paint on there air dry it again and then you better get going and then get some gold thanks sherry she says he loves my shirt hey la kishimi from australia i think i totally said that name wrong The video stopped. I don't think so. Y'all really need two heat guns. We do have two heat guns. I just didn't grab it. Just didn't have it out. I, I'm not going to lie. Time I'm like night. half asleep. <laughs> I'm sitting here working in my sleep. Oh, Sherry says we're working now. Oh, good. Sometimes the internet is doesn't work on the other end. And it's not great. Chinuas. Chinwasseri, Chinwasseri, Chinwasseri. I'm gonna just right. have Chin Google. Chinwasseri. I'm just gonna have Google say it for me. That's what we made. He told me not to name it that because I can say it. I just wanted to name it Chino. Because I can say that. He said no. Chino is actually the name, and Zeb's from Chino Valley, yeah. Arizona. <laughs> Amanda said she said that before she saw me get the other heat gun. It's all right, Amanda. We should always just have them out. We are actually probably, I don't know about next week, if we'll be at the church doing our live video, but in the next few weeks, hopefully we'll get So once our I get the banister and trim and everything moved in and where it goes and displays built, then I get to go upstairs and finish the classroom before the grand opening. <laughs> that's done. That's on Debbie because she's the one that wanted to Jamie do Jamie was not going to teach and Debbie's like, we should teach. It just, we have a lot going on, so I was worried I wouldn't be able to do it right. If I say I'm going to do something, I want to do it all the way, you know? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Can you fix the camera? 
Oh, that means we're over the hour mark, guys. What brushes am I using? I'm using the R20, and he's using the S50 Klingon. What time do you go to the church in the morning? Like the church we work on? We get there, it depends. 7 a.m., 9 a.m., depends on what we have going on. Usually about 7-ish because we feed the animals. Now, tomorrow is Sunday, and we're going to, we go to church at 11. But I go feed the animals in the morning, 7, I usually go about. Sundays we sometimes slack we, off. We sleep eight. in, and they got to wait for breakfast until like 8. That'll be okay. On and chewy ain't suffering, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Anybody sees my sheep in person, they are My sister sheep. has a degree in animal husbandry. Did she say they were And overweight? she's like, your sheep are looking a little overweight, Zeb. I'm like, they're just baby doll sheep. Ignore it. <laughs> they're just fluffy. They're not overweight. I'm like, I, they, I'm, I'm like, I'm not getting them out and running them right now. They, they're terrible on their harness. They, don't, they have plenty of room in their pin, and they don't even use the whole area they get in there and wrestle around we got two weather rams and they they wrestle and have a little tussle every now and then they're getting their exercise in We're, we need to get a harness that works for them and we need to walk them here's the thing i have to feed them enough food that chewy gets enough before han eats it all well chewy is a big eater but chewy likes vegetables han chewy not. likes treats he prefers treats over his alfalfa you can keep Brushes in water. You can keep these and you put them up to the, them down to the ferrule. If you don't want to get past the metal, you put them in water and then the the um, paint comes off of them. That's what Klingon is known for. I've actually never like shown the full effect of how easy they are to clean, but the paint does really come off. Okay, easy. so this is Golden Ticket from DIY Paint. Also found at jamierayvintage.com. jamierayvintage.com. All right, I'm going to try to get this heat gun because I'm going to dry brush this. And it's going to be magic. Thank you. These corbels do have great teeth tail. Even just painting them this color from that cream color, really, this has added a lot to them. Oh, I might want to go with the wax. This is going on. I'm going to have to do like six coats of this. Well, you can find the gold wax. No, it's it's not that, really six coats. That golden ticket is really old, like maybe three, three-ish years old. It was thinned out. Renee, what? The camera is blurry. Not on my end. I'll look at it. Denise lives in Dewey and she loves Chino Valley. Well, that's where Zeth's from. That's where we met. We actually met in Prescott. Are we still blurry? It wasn't blurry before. I would right. pay to see Zeb skip with your sheep. I don't know that the sheep skip. They will chase me, though, when I have breakfast. That's true. We have one chicken that's been jumping over the fence. Oops. I did not mean to. Okay, look. Where is the sheep head from on your stove? We sell them on our website. We're sold out right now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try the wax. I'm trying the wax. <laughs> yeah, if that golden it. ticket is old. It is no longer working. You could do copper. That Question would be the though, same. where do you think the wax is at? Um, good luck finding anything in there. I'm just gonna be over here drying a corbel. The problem is there's all this detail and all the paint keeps like getting stuck in the detail and it's taking forever to dry. All right. We might have to go over a little. I gotta show them. I could find it, but I'm not the one that chose to use gold. It's I know. small. I know. You can't find the tiny. golden rule. It's in there. I'm looking. I'm looking. Will you use the sheep for a manger scene for the holidays at church? Uh, they don't really sit still, so I don't know. And they poop everywhere. I follow this gal. Her name's Liz Murray, Liz Murray blog. And she has her sheep like in pictures in her house. And she swears that her sheep, they don't poop in her house. But I don't know how her sheep don't poop. Because sheep are indiscriminate poopers. They poop everywhere. At least ours do. All right. So now that this farm fresh is finally dry, 
I'm going to dry oh brush goodness, it. I can't find it. With some white wool linen. What, Seb? So you want your brush to be almost all the way dry. And then I'm just going to go across the texture and bring out the detail in these babies. I didn't find it. <laughs> you gave up. Did you find another? Well, we're out of time. I got to just throw some on here. I can, I can find it for you. I was just in the middle of my project. That's fine. The detail, look at that, boom, baby. It's good. Every time I do it, it's like, I'm always like, wow, that looks really good. I shouldn't be shocked because I've been doing it a lot. There we go. I stirred it from the bottom instead of just shaking it. Well, yeah, the, it's thick pigment. Yeah, but usually a good shake will do the trick. You need to stir it. That would splain at you. See you later, Diana. Hey, Deborah, she's finally home. She's finally home. Home, home on the range. All right, so this is with the white dry brush. And this is just plain. I'm gonna white, I'm gonna dry this one and finish this one. It will be more contrasty once I seal it because the DIY paint does dry lighter because it's clay based kind of think of like dirt kai says my dry brush technique is good thank you it works really good on applications that are with like a really detailed piece i can't take credit the pieces was really pretty and so i knew the dry brush would look good what is zeb using he's using golden ticket and white linen very focused right now he's got his focus face on Well, I got some golden ticket where I didn't want it. Cause it's Sorry, right. you can come back and hit it with paint. Yep, I'll just I'll just hit it with the. It's light. just paint. All right, I you know what I can do since you're still doing yours, I can finish my sign. It needs another coat though. All right, I'm gonna let this air dry. I'm gonna get this sign done. You have splattered, you, when you painted that, there's like white paint splattered all over the No. Side. Yes. No way. Yes, there was splatter, intent to splatter. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. It's okay, Promise. because I'm gonna white dry brushes, so it doesn't really matter. Good night, Leslie. Seb, you should sing him a good night song. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Did you ever watch Three Men and a Little Lady? No. They sing that song to her. I do not watch that show. Um, you I didn't watch know. a lot of movies growing up, though, that I watched. I watched old movies. My mom was real into musicals, and so that's what I watched. I mean, like Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Oklahoma. They had, um, like, one TV and it was a tube TV. Sound of that Music had was a like popular a one. one. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we watched a lot. Um, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Did I say that already? Yeah, you sure did. I'm thinking it was a popular one. I'm hoping the Minion movie that your mom went to watch was funny because I told her it probably would be. It had good reviews. Has anybody seen the new Minion movie? All right, I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna dry brush this sign. Well, we can. I'm better. I'm pretty much done. I'm ready to show them. I think I can. I think I can show them. They'll get the idea of it. I got to do some cleanup. I was a little shaky with my brush. Oh, Denise is a, or Denise Leslie is not leaving. She's staying. All right. They well, love seven brides and seven Leslie. brothers. You know, you couldn't make that movie now, right? There's a lot of things wrong with the plot, but you know, it's a it's a fun musical. I think I've tried to watch it. I just don't love musicals. Sorry. I could pretend that I do and say that I do, but I don't. Okay, so this is a very messy job. Probably one of my worst. I will clean it up, but it's not gonna look like much. 
but you guys get the idea before like the distressing and the the second coats of stuff it's very french looking yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna i'm gonna try to convince jamie that we need lots of white and gold i've been loving the look i, I love that you've been on pinterest and you're loving the look on pinterest hey you, you have a favorite teacup and you've been loving the white and gold look I've been, well, what, what started is I was looking at displays to build stuff. And then I'm like, that white and gold looks pretty good on that display. You're pretty <laughs> much the man of my dreams. But yeah, I've, I've got to fill up that whole church with displays for our We shop. have a ton of stuff to paint. So on top of everything else, we got to move. We also got to paint. So I'm hoping. We got to what? We got to paint stuff to put oh, in there. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in the garage. I'm hoping that. The barn. Our, our employees are happy to move stuff next week because we're going to need lots of help. I feel like they're all really, really excited because we've been excited for a long time and it's now, it's like here, we're a couple days away. All right. Okay, so I need to put more coats of gold. I need to touch up the white. I've got some streakies on that, but there's kind of a close up. You can see where I got messy. I was trying to hurry. I should have just let it dry and, and waited, but that's that's the idea. Maybe a little distress on the edges um but i think it'll be cool and it will be much neater when i'm all done all right and i'll show you guys this in a second all right we're now at like 71 minutes well i'm this gonna finish dry screen. brushing this that looks cool that's good your dry brushing is good strong dry brusher the dry brush is strong with me And again, it will look better once I seal the farm fresh and darken it up. If you guys watch our short form content like reels or shorts here on YouTube, watch for um, a floor floors. video. We'll get that we, video up. We oil wax the floors today with Sweet Pickens oil wax in the white, just like we did here at the house. And they turned out pretty good. They're still patches. They're not perfect, but they look amazing compared to what we had. Boom. And it will, like I said, it's really going to stand out great when I wax this, but it gives it a whole new look. So this is the color it was before, kind of this weird bronzy situation. And this is it now. Ta-da! That looks great. All right, guys. Visit jamierayvintage.com for the paint products and thrift haul items you saw tonight. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening. I can go let my dad and Cody out of the room.